Hello sports fans, welcome to the program. We start today with association football, as per usual, in the FA Cup semifinals. Huddersfield Town defeated Sheffield Wednesday 2-1. Arsenal drew against Hull City 2-2. In the replay, Arsenal defeated Hull City 1-0. At the 1930 FA Cup Finals, Arsenal defeated Huddersfield Town 2-0. <laughs> Babe Ruth of the New York Yankees hit 49 home runs. Lou Gehring of the New York Yankees scored 174 RBIs. Lefty Groove of the Philadelphia Athletics threw 209 strikeouts, with Marty McManus of the Detroit Tigers stealing 23 bases. The top five teams at the end of the season are the Detroit Tigers in fifth, the Cleveland Indians in fourth, the New York Yankees in third, the Washington Senators in second, and with the Philadelphia Athletics in first day of the American League pennant holders. Hack Wilson of the Chicago Cubs hit 56 home runs and scored 191 RBIs. Bill Hallahan of the St. Louis Cardinals threw 177 strikeouts, with Kiki Coiler of the Chicago Cubs stealing 37 bases. The top five teams at the end of the season are the Pittsburgh Pirates in fifth, the Brooklyn Robins in fourth, the New York Giants in third, the Chicago Cubs in second, and with the St. Louis Cardinals in first, they are the National League pennant holders. The top four teams of the Negro National League at the end of the season are the Chicago American Giants in fourth, the Detroit Stars in third, the Kansas City Monarchs in second, and with the St. Louis Stars in first, they have won their second Negro National League pennant. The 1930 World Series featured the defending World Series champions, the Philadelphia Athletics, against the National League champions, the St. Louis Cardinals. The Athletics defeated the Cardinals in six games, 4-2. Philadelphia's pitching ace, Lefty Groove, and George Earnshaw won two games apiece. Earnshaw also pitched seven scoreless innings as the Game 5 starter. In the NFL, the league dropped to 11 teams this year. The Portsmouth Spartans joined, and then the Minneapolis Red Jackets and New York Tornadoes left the NFL after this season ended. The top seven teams at the end of the season have the Chicago Cardinals in seventh, the Stan Lions Stapletons in sixth, the Providence Steamrolls in fifth, the Brooklyn Dodgers in fourth, the Chicago Bears in third, the New York Giants in second, and with the Green Bay Packers in first, they are the NFL champions. The final standings for the American Division have the Pittsburgh Pirates in 5th, the Detroit Cougars in 4th, the New York Rangers in 3rd, the Chicago Blackhawks in 2nd, and with the Boston Bruins in 1st place, they have won the Prince of Wales Trophy. The final standings for the Canadian Division have the New York Americans in 5th, the Toronto Maple Leafs in 4th, the Ottawa Senators in 3rd, the Montreal Canadiens in 2nd, and with the Montreal Maroons in first, they have won the O'Brien Cup. The 1930 Stanley Cup Finals were played between the Boston Bruins and the Montreal Canadiens. In a best of three series, Montreal won 4-3 and 3-0 to win the team's third Stanley Cup title. The 1930 Indianapolis 500 ushered in a series of substantially new engine rules and specifications. The allotted displacement was increased from 91.5 cubic inches to 366 cubic inches. Louis Schneider came in third place, Shorty Cantlin arrived in second, and Billy Arnold won the Indianapolis 500. At the 24 Hours of Le Mans, Bentley Motors Limited won with a Bentley Speed 6. This completes the program. Please subscribe and comment if you'd like. Until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.